Alright guys, what's going on? It's Shram here, and welcome back to another video I got for you guys today. Today, we're going to be rebuilding the Los Angeles Rams. And the annoying thing about this is that I just recorded this part, like the intro and the, all my first trades for the first season. I was just about ready to sim ahead, but I accidentally quit out of it and I didn't save. So yeah, all my progress got lost. I don't know. I'm going to try to recreate most of it, I guess, but I mean, we had a pretty decent team, I thought, but yeah, oops, other cap's supposed to be on. Yeah, I'll see you guys when the when I get past this part. All right, guys, here's the lineup. Um, offense is pretty pretty tragic, <laughs> like the offensive line is at least. So that kind of is, is pretty bad. Here's the defense. Defense is definitely better than the offense, but I have no idea how many people how many of these people are going to stay. I just know I'm moving Mark Barron up to strong safety, and he's probably going to stay there. That's all I know about that. But after I do this, I'll probably come back with the first trade. Not not a cornerback. <clears throat> but after this, I'm gonna... Right, here we go. Now I'm gonna get into the trades. So, yeah. Okay. Did not expect that to go through. Oh, I'm sorry, I stuttered there, but I just didn't expect that to go through. I did the same exact trade for Shaq Thompson, and they're like, nah, you're not gonna get Shaq Thompson. You're not gonna get an 86-rated player, but I will gladly give you the best player on our team. Okay. William Hayes, Tremaine Johnson, Eugene Monroe for Luke Keekley. And the reason why I'm trading Tremaine, Tremaine Johnson, like, I think he's good, but he's getting paid $14 million a year. He's not that good. So yeah, we have Luke Keekley now. I don't think I've traded for him yet. So yeah. All right. I'm going to try to trade back to get a bunch of picks. But we got Lance Kendricks, Alec Ogletree, and a second round draft pick for Odell Beckham Jr. I think that was a pretty solid trade. All right. TJ McDonald, Luis Vasquez, and Kenny Britt for Jadavion Clowney. I kind of didn't want to get rid of Kenny Britt, but you know, whatever. I like Jadavion Clowney. So all right. There we go. <laughs> Dominic Easley, um, P. Murphy for Matt. Paradis, Paradis. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but yeah, that guy. All right, Case Keenum in a fifth round draft pick this year for the Jets first round draft pick this year. Okay, we have the Zar Saffold, the third guy, and two fourth round draft picks, one this year, one next year for the 49ers first round draft pick this year. Okay, next year's third, fifth, and this year's sixth for Quan Alexander. I'm actually going to keep him and just put him at an outside linebacker position because he goes up and overall if you move him outside. And so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're just going to pick up Jonathan Newsom quick. He's a 76, and he's only 25. So, I mean, he's going to play the whatever linebacker position is needed now. I think we have all C pluses or Cs on the line. Yeah, okay. Linebackers have got a little better from that. And then I think this is going to be the team then. I just need to change Robert Quinn over to a left end quick. All right, Robert Quinn's at a left end now. I mean, he should be, right? Yeah, okay. And this is going to be the team for the first season. Uh, I don't know if we're upgraded or not. I think we are because we have OBJ now. <laughs> Um, I think this team's going to be alright. I kind of want, want Tavon Austin playing in the slot. And yeah, the offensive line is a bit better. Not by much though. We just got a new center. And then the defense is definitely better, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm going to send to the midseason mark now and I'll see you guys there. Alright, well we're 3-4. and four. It's honestly not too bad. I expected it to be worse. This is what the experience is looking like. I don't know what's going on here. But you know, maybe we have some decent experience. Um, it's looking pretty average to me, but I mean... Three and four. Better than I expected, honestly. See if I actually even want to bring anybody back. I don't really want this guy because Corey Harkey, he makes a lot of money. So, I don't know if I really even want him. I'll give him, like, a low deal. <laughs> 20 million? Yeah, right. I'll give him, like, that much and that. If he takes that, then he does. If not, then he's gone. Okay. You're leaving. Uh, I don't really want anybody else here, to be honest. I'll bring back Greg Zerline, I guess. Alright, there we go. Greg Zerline's back. No one else here I really want. So yeah, there's that. I'm going to scout some players and then probably go to the end of the season. But yeah, here's the team. We're, we're balling right now. If we can make the playoffs, that would be insane. What's the rest of the division looking like? Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. We're third though. The 40, We have the 49ers first round draft pick, I think, right? Uh, I feel like we do. So maybe we'll have the first pick. I hope so. I'm going to scout some players, yeah, and then I'm going to go to the next... No, to the end of the season. Alrighty, we did not make the playoffs, but that's okay. What's his name? Jared Goff had four touchdowns the last game. How'd we do? We went 8-8. Eight and eight. That's actually pretty good. I'm fine with that, honestly. I think we have the 49ers first round draft pick, too. So this is pretty cool. We're probably just out of a play or a wild card spot. That's alright. Let's check out the stats. Jared Goff did... Mm, average. He's probably not going to win Rookie of the Year just because of... Carson Wentz and Ezekiel Elliott, they always get it. One of them, one of those two usually gets it. 
Yeah, let's see. Let's see how... Actually, I want to be surprised. Maybe he did win. That would be insane. Uh, Tom Gurley did pretty well, honestly, for having a pretty bad offensive line. He only had just the under four yards of carry. is isn't too bad. 12 rushing touchdowns is pretty decent, though. Um, no one really did that well. I mean, I guess Odell did pretty well compared. I don't know how Brian Quick got our leader in receptions, but he did. Wait, hold on. What did Tavon Austin do? Nothing. <laughs> That's sad. Whatever. Sacks? Sacks actually weren't too bad. Honestly, I expected so much worse. This is what, only 15 sacks? It's pretty good. No, 16. Good job. Luke Keekley led the league and not led the league, led our team in tackles. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. It's pretty cool. What about tackles for loss? I saw 21 for Aaron Donald. Yeah, he did really well. Sacks. Man, we're getting to the quarterback pretty well, though. Michael Brockers somehow got 12 coming out of the second defensive tackle position. Jadeveon Clowney had 15, which is nice. Robert Quinn only had 5. Uh, Aaron Donald had 9. Pretty solid. Interceptions. 4 for Mark Barron. 4 for LaMarcus Joyner. 3 for Luke Keekley. Luke Keekley did pretty well. He'll probably be in Defensive Player of the Year running. You know, usually is. Uh, Force fumbles. I don't have a bunch. 2 for Jadeveon. 2 for Robert Quinn and Maurice Alexander. Fumble recoveries. Four people with one. Not bad. Any touchdowns? Hey, we got a touchdown. Luke Keekley. Nice. I think I had to pick six then. We're 23rd on offense, which is pretty bad. I think our defense wasn't bad, though. Second. Our defense was really good. <laughs> Yearly awards. I uh, don't expect to see any Rams in here. That wouldn't make any sense. LeGarrette Blunt and LaShawn McCoy both made it. That's cool. Uh, I still don't expect to see any Rams. Defensive player of the year? Maybe. I expect to see some Rams in here. Nope. Maybe not. Jordan Hicks made it, though. He's cool. All right. Offensive rookie of the year. I doubt we got it. We came in second. Oh, that's so disappointing. We we're so close. That's such a big thing if you win rookie of the year. But hopefully Jared Goff still got a good amount of experience. Man, that's sad. Defensive rookie of the year. I don't even know if we had any defensive rookies. I don't know. doesn't matter. Best quarterback. There's no way we're in this. Didn't think so. Best running back. Maybe like 10th? Nope. Are we going to win any awards? I doubt it. Best wide receiver. Don't think it. Oh, Odell Beckham got in there. Nice. Cordero Patterson really got in there. Wow. There's no way we're best O-line. Best D-line. There we go. Jadavion Clowney. Aaron Donald should be in this too. Michael Brockers made it in front of him. Okay. I guess they don't, you know, think about tackles for loss being important. Best linebacker. Probably have Kluke Keekly in here. Never mind. We do not. Best defensive back. I doubt it. Hey, Mark Barron got in there. Nice job. Best kicker. There it is, Greg. Greg the leg. You made it. And there we go, Offensive Player of the Year. Okay, well, sadly, we didn't win anything. But that's not too bad, I guess. I mean, how much experience does he have? 13,000, that's, like, not that great. Especially since he has normal development. Yeah, I was hoping he would develop better, but... Maybe if we can get a better wide receiver, better wide receivers around him, then we can, you know, progress him better. I don't know yet, but I'm going to upgrade the team and then go to the offseason. Alright, for some reason, Matt Paradis didn't show up right away. So I really hope we can sign him back. All right, we did. Nice. <laughs> okay, just making sure we can sign him back. He didn't show up right away for some reason. You know what? Actually, I'm going to bring back Jonathan Newsom too. Because he didn't do too terribly. He had like 77. He's a 77. I'm just going to try to lowball him a little bit. Maybe I can bring him back. Yes, okay. He came back. Cool. I mean, I'll keep him for that. That's pretty cheap. And he's a 77. He's not awful. So I'm going to advance next week and then... Um, after I advance this, I'm going to show you guys that, like, the schedule and everything, just to show you guys we didn't cheat. I don't know why, again, I don't know why I would cheat to go 8-8, eight and eight, but, you know, I didn't cheat, I promise. Nope. I always go to stats when I mean to go to the schedule. Alright, hold on. Uh, league schedule. Okay, well, let's, let's see how the people did it. Let's see who won the Super Bowl first. Alright, wild card. What went on? The Titans made it, Cowboys made it, of course, Steelers made it, and the... Uh, Seattle Seahawks made it, of course. Who won the divisions? Oh, I'm assuming the Vikings won in the division, and so did the Chiefs. That's pretty cool. You know, these are pretty... These are pretty accurate. Except for, you know, swap the, the Titans with, you know, whatever team, what other team, the Texans, I guess, and the, and the... And the swap the Vikings with the... Packers? And there you go. That's, like, real life. <laughs> uh, anyway, so who's in the Super Bowl? Oh, it's the Patriots versus the Seahawks. Oh, man. And the Seahawks won. Nice. Good job, Seahawks. <laughs> I don't like the Patriots. I'm sorry, Patriots fans out there, if anyone's watching. But I'm not the biggest fan. Alright, here we go. Team schedule. 
We lost almost every game in the preseason, which is good. We started off with a win. Then who did we lose to? The Seahawks, the Cardinals, Bills, Lions. You know, we did pretty average. We didn't score very much. But we lost to the Seahawks both times. But it's okay. That happens. Okay, now I'm going to try to get into the offseason and see who's in here. 50 million cap room. We can definitely bring in some people. Maybe someone random will be in here, like Melvin Ingram. I've never seen him in here before. Ooh, Andrew Norwell. I'm going after him for sure. 82. 86 is the highest. Okay. I'm definitely going after him. 84. Almost there. 86. Let me just get 87. 86 still. <laughs> I think I have to move that up one more time. There we go. 87. Hopefully we got him. Sakil Barrett's there. That's pretty cool. DJ Swearinger. I think Sakil Barrett's always there. Um, Man, I don't think there's anyone else I really want. Actually, I might go for... I think I'm going to go for Cordell or Patterson just to put him at running back and then trade him. Why am I going high? I'm going to go low. There we go. We beat that person out. I'm going to do like the same kind of thing I usually do. So I'm going to go for Josh Gordon too. And put him at tight end. Because he's a decent tight end. And then I don't know if I want to go for Melvin Ingram or not. 87 is the highest for Melvin Ingram. But he's a 90. Like he's pretty good. How much is 87? That's 86. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to go for him. 89. I can bring that down a little more. 87. Okay. I mean, hopefully all these guys join. That would be nice. Actually, no. I'm going to go 88. My bad. Bring up one more. There you go. 88. <laughs> hopefully we can get all these people. They'd be all nice to have. I should have went for Trey Burton instead of Josh Gordon. No, I'm going to do that. Trey Burton's on the Eagles. Where's, where's Josh Gordon? Actually, I'll take him and then trade him if I need to. I'm going to sign a bunch of people this time. This is the most people have ever signed in free agency. Troy Burton's on the Eagles, and he's an 84. 61 points. Maybe he'll he'll come over to the team for that. That'd be really nice. Hopefully we get all these people. I think the team would be much improved if we can do this. And then I have a bunch of people I can trade then, so we can improve the team even more. And we still have a draft. I think this is looking up. Hopefully. If all these people come over. Are they all going to... Alright, let's get it. Melvin Ingram, Troy Burton... Norwell and Cordell Patterson all came. Uh, Josh Gordon didn't, which is okay because I still have Trey Burton. So yeah, this is what the team's looking like then with all those people. Um, I gotta move Cordell Patterson to a running back. I'm gonna do that right now. I don't like. I'm tempted to keep him just because like he's a beast. I don't know why he's so good, but he is at a running back. I mean, Todd Gurley's good too, but I mean, I think he has superstar development. So I mean, he's like good trade value. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, so now we have good linebackers. We have really solid linebackers. We just need some corners, and then we're good to go. I'm going to scout some players and go into the draft. All right, guys, we're in the draft now. We have the first pick. Okay, I'm pausing this, because I am not taking this first pick. I am will for sure trade down with the Browns. I don't think I have anybody that I really want right now. Let's see. I kind of want this left tackle. He's an early first rounder, but I don't really need him all that much, honestly. Like, he's not the greatest thing in the world. I want this guy as well, but I'm not going to take him yet. Because I think the, the Browns are probably going to take a quarterback. And, like, everyone else is, like, mid first rounders and stuff. So I will for sure trade down with the Browns. Easy. This is, like, the easiest trade I think I've ever had. Because I'll trade down with them this year and get their pick next year. It's so easy to trade the first pick. So this should work pretty simply. But let's go boom. You know, can I get for Can I do this? <laughs> that worked. Oh man, that was a good trade. I got their first round draft pick next year and their first round. Two of their first round draft picks this year. They took the left tackle. I honestly didn't expect that. Alright, so. I might try to trade down with the Jaguars because I don't think they would take a wide receiver. So, I'm gonna try that, yeah. I'm gonna try to trade down with the Jaguars. I really don't expect them to take a wide receiver. Okay, that worked too. So we got their first round draft pick this year, their second round draft pick this year, and a first next year. So I think this is a pretty solid draft so far. We're getting some good picks. I don't think they're going to take a wide receiver. Okay, they didn't. I'm going to take wide receiver now because he's an early first rounder. Maybe he's a beast. I want this guy other than that other guy. So yeah, this guy looks pretty good. What does he like? Superstar development. That's all that I wanted. That's fine. I don't really care about the overall too much. 
So I'm going to probably play this dude and hopefully he develops nicely. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Now, there's no one I really want. So, let's see what people are offering. Okay, it's not that valuable, but I'm still going to try to get both their... There we go. I got a first round draft pick for them this year and next year, so I think that was a solid trade. Probably could have gotten a second round next year too, but it's whatever. Now, I'm going to advance to my pick. Hopefully none of the cornerbacks go. I don't think they did. I'm going to take a cornerback now. Man, I don't know who's better. Let's see. One of these two guys. I'm probably going to go with... What are you? 4-4-9, four, four, which isn't bad. 4-3-6. That guy's fast. I'm going to go with him. Slow development. Okay. That's a bit annoying. I'm probably going to take that other cornerback then, too, with my next pick, if he's still there. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Okay, so do I have a late first rounder? I do, because there is a decent guard that I kind of want. I couldn't trade down with him, so I'm just going to take that the one guy I want. Is he a left guard? No, he's a right guard, I think. Yeah, this guy. He's a late first rounder, but he looks pretty beastly. Superstar development, 79 rated. That is perfect. That's exactly who I wanted. Finau. Finau Campbell. He looks like a beast. Uh, did that cornerback go? Yes, he did. I'm assuming that's him. I have another wide receiver here. I don't know if I want to go with that or not, because I think the cornerback went that I wanted. Actually. This guy probably isn't that good. I think I have some second round draft picks, right? So if I do, I'll, if he's still there in the second round, I'll, I'll try to pick him up. Yeah, I have the 36th pick. So I'll try to pick him up in the second round if he's still there. Um, this guy looks pretty good, but I already have a tight end, so I don't really need him. I'm going to think I'm just going to go with this guy. 76 normal. I mean, he's not bad. He's solid. He's pretty quick. Has decent catching, so I'll probably just keep him. Okay, now let me skip to my second round draft pick. That guy just went. Are you serious? Was that him? I can't believe he just went. I honestly can't believe that guy just went. That's really sad. Okay, well, I'm going to trade down all these picks now because I have no one else scouted. Okay, so this is the team I got rolling with for now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have a few ideas that I actually really want to try out and see how it goes. And they involve trading Todd Gurley and Cordero Patterson in trade two. But I'm going to move Tavon Austin to a running back. Cordero Patterson is a beast at running back. So now I hope Tavon is really good at running back too. Not power back. Why do they keep doing that? He's not a power back. Okay, this is going to work. If he's a better overall than either of them, I'll probably trade the other two. Oh, he's an 86. Oh, I'm for sure going to trade Cordero Patterson and Todd Gurley now. I want my rookies to play down here anyway, so... Actually, I don't want this guy above him. Because this guy's superstar development. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get a cornerback now. Hopefully, I can do that. Alright, that worked. So, I got Jonathan Newsom, Cordero Patterson. Cordero Patterson. I didn't say that right. And a second round draft pick this year? Yeah, for Xavier Rhodes. So there we go. Now we have a decent cornerback. It's kind of funny that I just traded them Cordero Patterson. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Now I can still trade uh, Todd Gurley. So, I'm going to try to do that. Okay, Todd Gurley and this Witchman guy for Lane Johnson. Um, they weren't interested in that Wickman, Richman, whatever. I just didn't need him anymore, so decided to get rid of him. Sorry, sorry, friend. But also, Todd Gurley's gone. I mean, I, it, I didn't want to do that because, um, I mean, he has superstar development. Like, probably could have gotten more, but it doesn't really matter that much. But, you know, kind of sad I had to do that, but it's okay. I think the team's better now. I just got to move Lane Johnson over, I think. Okay. There we go. I didn't need that right tackle anymore, the backup for Lane Johnson. I just, I said okay weird because I didn't think that would work. But yeah, anyway, Bradley Roby. We have him now. So yeah, cool. He's probably going to play above our rookie who kind of sucks. We definitely upgraded the corners though. The corners are a lot better than they used to be. So that's cool. Um, Yeah, this is the team. I think the team's actually looking nice. Offense still has a little bit of work to do. Maybe if this wide receiver can get, can just like do really well. Then, you know, we can have a solid wide receiver. I might sign another wide receiver just to have as a solid fourth string that's not a 60. So, let's see if we can sign anyone decent. If there's any, like, solid wide receivers that are still here, like rookies or something. Okay, I'm just going to sign Josh Huff quick because why not? Be nice to have another wide receiver. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be the team now, actually. So, uh, hopefully this team's good. We didn't really do much. I just signed Josh Huff instead of someone else but yeah here we go this is the squad hopefully we can make the playoffs we were just out of the playoffs last time so 
hopefully we can make it now. I'm just going to change some of the schemes, probably spend some coach XP, and then going to get going. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> we're in the midseason and we're 3-5. and five. And we have to sign back Aaron Donald, and I think Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, why are we 3-5? and five? I think we have a much better team. Okay. Actually, it's only like five people, but six, maybe. But uh, we have a good amount of cap. It's the only thing I'm hoping for here, that maybe we can get him back because of that. <laughs> okay, we got Aaron Donald back. Oh, man. We're going to be out of money after this. We got Odell Beckham Jr. back. Jadavion Clowney, come on. You know you want to. Okay. <laughs> Xavier Rhodes, you know you want to come back too. Oh, we don't have, like, any money. Offers perfect, okay. Maurice Alexander and LaMarcus Joyner, and the last two I need. All right, he coming back. He's coming back, and LaMarcus Joyner, come on. Okay, he's coming back too. Oh, gosh. I'm Bradley Roby. I want to bring him back. We don't have any money. This is a problem. Okay, he's coming back too. <laughs> we don't have, like, any money right now. Oh, gosh. Okay, well. This sucks a little. Because... <laughs> Our team is not playing that well. Maybe by the end of the season we can, you know, do something. Does I think he might have enough to get quick development now. So I'm going to give him quick. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go to upgrade player. I'm going to give him quick development and then go to the rest of the season. Just so maybe he can get some experience then. Upgrade player, this is what I wanted to do. Uh, Yeah, give him quick development. Okay, now he has quick development. Maybe he can do something now. I don't know how we're 3-5. and five. I think we have a much better team. Everything's in the right scheme, too. I checked. So, I don't know. Tavon Austin's a 90, actually, if you change him to the right scheme. Uh, why is he in the... Uh, I wanted him to be there. Why is he in the slot? Man, that's not what I wanted. Okay, well, anyway. I don't know what to do. <laughs> because I think this team is actually pretty solid. So, hopefully, we get a decent end of the season. I think our defense is amazing. There's an error, error saving your roster changes. I didn't do anything. Alrighty then. Never seen that before. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to spend this coach XP quick if I can do it on anything. And then I'm going to... I don't know if I can even spend this on anything. Kicker training. Never mind. I can't do it on anything that's really important. Alright, so I'm going to scout players and then go to the end of the season. Did we make the playoffs? Oh, we did. Wow. We actually made the playoffs. We're not in seven. Awesome. I didn't expect that. Okay, well, this is what the XP's looking like. Jared Goff has literally no experience. He had quick development. I have to draft another quarterback. I'm going to try my best to draft a quarterback this year, so... hopefully. Why does this guy keep getting changed? I don't want him to play here. I want him to play the second wide receiver. Uh, that's all right. Wow. Cleo Mack has a lot of... Ex not Cleo Mack. Luke Keekley has a good amount of experience. But, yeah, all right. Let's see how the team did. Our offense, I don't think, played too well. Jared Goff did, like, alright. Not well enough. Which is annoying. Tavon Austin did really well, though. So, that was a good move to put him at running back. 15, almost 1,600 yards and 13 touchdowns is solid. Receiving, Odell Beckham Jr. did well. Both the rookies, did. this guy did pretty bad. I didn't want him playing in the slot. That's why this guy did pretty poorly, too. But it's okay. Blocking should be better, right? Hey, nice job. Our, where's the rookie? That rookie guy didn't let up a sack? Yeah, he didn't. Nice. He played all games, too. That guy's a beast. See ya. Still a good amount of sacks. 16, which isn't bad. Tackling. Luke Keekley did super well with that. Nice job. About sacks. Aaron Donald. I mean, or not sacks. Tackles for lost. Aaron Donald had 18. Michael Brockers had 11. Sacks. Significantly lower from last year, but that's okay. Interceptions. I saw Luke Keekley at 4, which is nice. Um, fumbles. How many forced fumbles did we get? Two from LaMarcus Joyner, two from Aaron Donald, and one from a whole bunch of other people. Fumble recoveries, one from four different people. Um, safeties, do we get a safety? Why not? Nope, touchdowns. Do we get a touchdown? No, we didn't. Okay, well, I saw in the corner that we actually did well on offense. Well, wow. hold on. What's our defense looking like? Third, how did we go nine and seven? If we're seventh on offense, third on... Okay. Anyone? I doubt it. Nope. Ezekiel Elliott, man. Hey, Tavon Austin came in fourth. That's cool. 
Defensive Player of the Year. I saw Luke Kuechly got it, and Melvin Ingram came in second. Oh, that's nice. That should be, good, be some good experience. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Gilbert came in fourth. Corey Sims came in sixth. Defensive Rookie. I don't even know if we had any. Oh, we did. We have a cornerback, but he wasn't that good. Best quarterback, maybe? Yeah, he came in eighth. That's not terrible, I guess. Best running back. Tavon Austin came in second. That's pretty cool. Best wide receiver. Odell Beckham should have. Never mind. Wow. A rookie came in ninth. I should have drafted that guy. Uh, best offensive lineman? Maybe? Yeah, hey, Lane Johnson. Nice job. Best defensive lineman? Nobody. Best linebacker. Should be Luke Keekley. There you go. Where's, uh, what's his name? There he is. Melvin Ingram. Came in third. Pretty cool. Best defensive back? Probably no one. Yep. Best kicker. There, where's, where's Greg the leg? There he is. And offensive player of the year again. Alright, cool. So, we did pretty well, honestly. Better than last season. Actually, not by much, though. We had one more win and one less loss, but yep. Now I'm going to try to spend my team experience and then go into the playoffs and maybe we can get a win. Okay, this is a team all upgraded. I just auto-upgraded everybody pretty much because there wasn't many people that, you know, I could have upgraded individually, but this is what the team looks like. I mean, pretty decent, I think, for the, for the playoffs at least. We have a really solid defense, though, so hopefully the defense can hold up. But yeah, here we go. Let's get into the game and see what happens. Okay, we're at 87. And they're in 85. Maybe we can get a win. I highly doubt it, though, because this hasn't been kind to us recently. The last one we did was the Jaguars, right? And we didn't... I don't even know if we got a playoff win that entire time. So, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. Oh, we got a uh, 30... Okay. That was... I don't know what I just said, but we won. I just mumbled a lot at the end there because I was just confused as to what happened. We did really well. 34 to 27. We actually won. Jared Goff played really badly. That's unfortunate. But, you know, it happens. Rushing. Tavon Austin. Okay. <laughs> Tavon Austin killed it. So did freaking Kirk Cousins. What is this? Kirk Cousins had 81 rushing yards. <laughs> Alrighty then. Odell Beckham Jr. did pretty well. Charles Sims. This, the, <laughs> Charles, <laughs> Charles Sims was their leading receiver. He had two catches for four yards. Everyone on their team... Had like two catches. Wow, that that just looks funny. Do you have Charles Simpson two catches for four yards? Uh, who had the most tackles? There you go, Dave Van Clowney. Two tackles for loss. Nice sacks. Aaron Donald had two. Who had the interceptions? Mason Foster had both of theirs. And Xavier Rhodes and Mark Barron had one of each. So nice, we got a win. I think this is actually already more successful than the Jaguars one. I hope it doesn't end the same way though. We don't have to play the Steelers. So we're good, unless it's in the Super Bowl. If we play the Steelers in the Super Bowl, I think we already lost. I don't think I have to even go for it. Let's see, what is our defense? Probably pretty good. 93 defense, 89 offense. Not bad. Okay, let's advance to the next week. See who we have to play. Tavon Austin killed it, though. If he can keep doing that, we should win. If he can keep having almost 200 rushing yards and three touchdowns... Oh, this one's going to be tough, though, against the Packers. What's their overall? I'm guessing maybe, like, a 90? They have a very solid team, so... Yeah, they are a 90. We're at 89, though. We went up a little bit. I mean, we're kind of right there. We can hopefully compete. I don't know, though. Okay, so at the point that I'm recording this, um, the last one I uploaded was my 49ers one. I'm recording a bunch of these ahead of time, because I just really like doing these. They're fun to do, so... Might as well just... You know, record them whatever I can. Anyway, though, the I'm recording this right after I uploaded, like, three days after I uploaded the 49ers one. And that one right now has, like, 140-something views for some reason. And I don't know how that happened because my videos only ever get, like, 20. That one, every time I check, it has, like, four or five more views. So, thanks, everyone out there who watched it and is still watching this one. But here's a little challenge. Not a challenge at all, but if you guys are still watching this video right now, comment Taco Beef. Alright? Comment that... I don't know. I want to see if anyone actually does that. And I want to see if anyone's actually still here. I feel like I know one person that might still be here. But he never comments. So, I don't know if he's actually... He actually will now. I'm looking at you, friend. Comment Taco Beef. If if you're loyal. I don't know. I've never asked for anything like that before. But I'll give it a try. See if I can, If I get one Taco Beef, I'll be super excited. You can never count the, the Packers out, though. But we won! We actually beat the Packers! How did that happen? Did we do better than Aaron Rodgers? No, we did not. Aaron Rodgers killed it. Never mind, he had three interceptions. He had, wow. Jared Goff and four passing touchdowns. Good job, friend. He didn't need to pass the ball all that much. That's pretty cool. Tavon Austin, man. He just kills it with the yards. <laughs> Eddie Lacy did pretty well. At least Aaron Rodgers didn't run for 80 yards like Kirk Cousins did. 
Receiving Devontae Adams did super well. Eddie Lacy, Jordan Nelson, Randall Cobb. All their guys are up there. Hey, look at a rookie. Barry Gilbert. He did pretty well about uh, tackling. Luke Keekley led our team in tackles. Actually, led the entire game in tackles. He had a half a sack. With two interceptions. Mark Barron. He's he's the guy to get. He had three interceptions in two games. He's doing really well in the in the postseason. All right, well, we won again. If we can get a Super Bowl the second year with this team, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to play another season regardless. But maybe we can go back to back. It'll be pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty well in the playoffs. Hopefully next year we can, you know, make it back here again. Because I'm not going to have any money to, like, sign anybody new. So I might have to just go with the same team. Just, you know, upgraded. Actually, there's a few quarterbacks I want to get. So, oh, there we go. Our team's a 91-95 now. Pretty solid. All right, we're going to the divisional round, guys. I did not expect to be here in the second season. I mean, the conference championship. We were just in the divisional round. My bad. Who are we playing? I'm going to guess, like, the Seahawks or something. Actually, no, we would have played them already. The Falcons. Playing the Falcons right now. Is it, did our overall change? Are we a 90 or are we still an 89? They're probably, like, a 91. They're an 87. We're an 89. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Even though I think we were an 87... And whoever we played first was an 89, I think. Yo, this could actually work. I'm excited. If we can make this, this would be awesome. Yeah, see, we only won that last game because one of you guys commented Taco Beef. I already know it. Maybe we can get a touchdown, 21-13? I don't think. I think this might be a lost cause. Actually, 20 to... Oh, 28 to... Tw oh, okay, it's 28-28. It's tied. There's no way. Are oh, they going to kick a field goal and win the game? No! <laughs> no! They scored a touchdown and won the game. Uh, that was a close game. We almost made the comeback. I mean, good job, I guess. Jared Goff is just not doing it, man. I wish he was better. If we had a, if we had a better quarterback, we would be killing it. Man, Devontae Freeman outran Tavon Austin, even though we had like the same yards per carry. Tyler Gaffney. I don't even know who that is, but he did pretty well, too. What's up with the running game? Just killing it. Man, that sucks. Ashley Palmer at 15. Luke Keekley had 16 tackles. Wow. No sacks in the entire game. Desmond Trufant and Mark Barron had another interception. Mark Barron has had, what, like four interceptions in three games? Wow. He's killing it. Why can't he do that during the regular season and get, like, I don't know, ten interceptions? No, it would be twelve. Why couldn't he get twelve interceptions? That would be insane. Alright, well, I mean, we made it pretty far. That's pretty cool, I guess. Wish we made it at least to the Super Bowl, but we didn't. 91, 95. Pretty good. Now we can go to the offseason. Sadly, we still have our pick, so our pick's not going to be that great. Okay, so I'll show you guys that we didn't cheat really quick. Not that. I always go to the wrong thing. I don't know why I always do that. Schedule. There we go. Team schedule. That's, that was our preseason. We got destroyed by the Redskins. Here's our actual season. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. I mean, we lost a whole bunch of games right there. And then we just went on a good win streak at the end. That's nice. I think we beat the Seahawks in there. Yeah, we did. All right, so league schedule. Let's see who won MVP. Not MVP. What am I talking about? Let's see who won the Super Bowl. Oh, the Falcons won. Wow. Good job, Falcons. We're minus $10 million in cap room. So that, that answers that question. Oh, we have Greg Robinson there, too. Okay. We're going to have to trade for another tackle. I want to try to draft a quarterback because Jared Goff is just not cutting it. I want to see who's a free agent. We have negative $9 million in cap room. So, I just want to see who's here. Tyler Eifert? I've never seen Tyler Eifert in... Oh, that's not fair. That's really not fair. I would so go after Tyler Eifert. That's so lame. And Jarvis Landry. I would have totally went after Jarvis Landry too. If we only had money. I don't know where all our money went. I think because we have a bunch of draft picks. Sad face. I really wanted Tyler Eifert, but it's okay. Okay, we're in the draft. Let me just check out news. Just to see if anyone, like the guy I want, is bad in the news. There's, I didn't even check. Okay. Probably should have checked if there was news, but whatever. Start the draft. Okay. I need to trade up with the Jets. I don't even know what our picks are. 9th, 12th, 26th, 29th, 32nd. Jeez, we have bad picks. Okay, I need to trade up with the trade up with the Jets. That's main priority right now. Actually, the Jets aren't going to take a quarterback. 
There's no way. They have Drew Brees. If they take a quarterback, oh, I'm trading for him. The Bengals shouldn't take a quarterback either. Okay. The Eagles. Eagles, I'm trading up with you because I think you will take a quarterback. Even though you have Carson Wentz, you still normally take a quarterback. Okay. I sh should have given him a different draft pick. Whatever. We got the draft pick settled. We traded that rookie we had last year that is slow development. So I don't really mind trading that. Okay. Let me pick this quarterback. This guy is going to be a stud. I know it. A-plus throw power, A-minus throw accuracy short, and B throw accuracy mid. 84 superstar. I knew this guy was going to be a beast. A-plus <laughs> uh, A plus throw power is the way to get people. That that's Those are the quarterbacks you have to look out for. So yeah, there we go. We drafted a stud. Now, there's no one else I really want, I don't think. There's another quarterback here. I can honestly probably take him and trade him. I honestly feel like I could take that guy and trade him. Because I literally don't have anyone else scouted. Oh, I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do. No. I'm just gonna try to trade this pick, maybe. And Jared Goff to get a wide receiver. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to get a really good wide receiver just so I know we can make it to the uh, to the Super Bowl. You no, know, I'm gonna trade Jared Goff next season. So I'm gonna trade all these picks down, I think. Okay, so I just noticed that I forgot to... I, I wasn't recording when I did some of these trades. So hold on. Let me go to transactions. And I'll show you who I traded for. Um, hold on. There we go. Okay. So these are all the practice squad guys. I didn't... Okay. Um, hold on. Hold on. Let me get through all these. Okay, here we go. I traded um, a bunch, a first two first-round draft picks and a third-round draft pick for Tyreek Hill. Just because... I wanted to, I, I just wanted Tyree Kill. I know I overtraded, but I have a bunch of picks, so I just got rid of some of them. Um, I traded, what was it, two third round draft picks for Brandon Linder, and I moved him over to left tackle, so he's the left tackle. And then I traded a third and a second, and the one superstar wide receiver we got like two years ago for Stefan Diggs. I don't know actually what trades you guys didn't see, so I'm just going to go through all of them again. Um, I traded, what was it? Uh, Robert Quinn, Eugene Sims, and Jared Goff to the Browns for Emmanuel Ogba because that just cleared up a bunch of bunch of cap, and that was it. So I don't know if I showed that one or not, but this is the team then. We're two and one right now, which is nice. This is the team, so looking pretty solid. I don't know when I stopped recording, so yeah. There you go. That's the team. I don't know why Melvin Ingram is so low. I just realized he's kind of low. Whatever, still a beast. Now I'm going to keep simming, so yeah. Not play a game. Sim. Playoffs. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to sim to the playoffs. Okay, how did we do? We went 11-5. and five. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Um, this is what the experience is looking like for the defense. What about the offense? That guy did... I don't think that guy won Rookie of the Year. Because it's only 19,000. Aw, oh, that's kind of upsetting. I was really hoping he would win Rookie of the Year. Wow. He did pretty bad. That's kind of unfortunate. I was really hoping he would do better. Tavon Austin did super well, though. Okay. 1,700 yards and 19 touchdowns. That is awesome. Odell Beckham Jr. did really well. Stephon Diggs did pretty well. Trey Burton did all right. And then Tyreek Hill did... Nah. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Out uh, about blocking? Pretty solid again. 16 sacks. I'm pretty sure we've let up 16 sacks every year so far. Luke Keekley did well. Uh, with tackles, so about tackles for loss. I saw Aaron Donald had 20, which is nice. Sacks, 12 from Manuel Ogba, 8.5 from Jadavion Clowney, 6 from Aaron Donald, 5.5 from Melvin Ingram. Interceptions, 5 from Xavier Rhodes, that's pretty good. 3 from Mark Barron, and 2 from Melvin Ingram and Luke Keekley. But a forced fumbles, anyone had more than one? No. What, 5 people had one? Fumble recoveries? 2, only 2 fumble recoveries, that's sad. Touchdowns, anyway, oh, Xavier Rhodes had 2, and... Jay Van Clowney had one. Wow. Okay. We actually did pretty well with that. 11th on offense. What about defense? First. We were first in defense. Wow. Okay, so here we go. I feel like, yeah, I was going to say, I think Tavon Austin should be in this. Le'Veon Bell did better than... Tavon Austin had a crazy season, and Le'Veon Bell still won MVP. Um, let's go to NFC. Tavon Austin's fourth, which is cool. Defensive Player of the Year, Luke Keekley. It's pretty nice. He's up there. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Came in second. I don't even know who this guy is. Segwick Ely. He's probably a quarterback. Man, I'm, 
This guy was so good, too. That's all right, I guess. Defensive Rookie of the Year. I don't think we had any defensive rookies. Oh, we did. AJ Claybrooks, whoever that is. Best quarterback. There's no way because our quarterback played really poorly. Best running back, Tavon Austin, second. Brandon Cooks got best receiver from the 4-12 and 12 Saints. Wow. Odell Beckham Jr. is pretty solid up there. At number 8, Laquan Treadwell. Really? Okay. Best O-line, Lane Johnson, Brandon Linder, Andrew Norwell, and Matt Paradis. Nice job. Uh, best defensive lineman, anyone? Yeah, Emmanuel Ogba got in there. That's cool. I'm the best linebacker. What's his name? Luke Keekley should be there. There he is. Best defensive back, Xavier Rhodes. Nice. Best kicker, Greg the Leg. Oh, he didn't make it. Poor Greg. I'm sorry. I want to see something. I want to see how well Le'Veon Bell did. If he beat out, what's his name? What? He didn't even do all that much better. I'm surprised he got MVP. Maybe he had crazy receiving yards. That's probably it. He had 505, but I mean, wow. It's actually, I think, I don't know. Taewon Austin did not do better, but I don't I feel like they're like re relatively close. So I'm going to spend the XP. Sadly, our quarterback didn't win anything. It's kind of rough. I was honestly hoping for a little bit better season than, than a 11-5, uh, and five, but, you know, it's good enough. I'll just get up his awareness really high. Alrighty, this is the team. Tavon Austin is a god. <laughs> I know that much, but this is the team. I think the team is very solid. I think we should at least go back to the conference championship. So let's play this game and see what goes on. What are we? Like a 90? 91 maybe? We're better than before. 93 and they're a 91. All right, we could do this. We could totally do this. 45 to 41. Don't let him score. 52 to 48. 55 to... What kind of game was that? 52 to 55? Are you kidding me? Where was our defense? We had the number one defense. <laughs> oh, I'm so done with rebuilds, man. I'm not. But look at this. They passed for what? 912 yards or so? <laughs> it's more than that, I think. What just happened? No, 912 yards, I think, right? I'm going to do this on my calculator. Hold on. 900, what is it? 479 plus... 433. 912. They passed for 912 yards and 9 touchdowns in this game. What was this? Tavon Austin had 3 rushing touchdowns. <laughs> Jordy Nelson, 15 catches, 261 yards, and 3 touchdowns. What happened? Where did, what, what did our defense do? Nothing. How... I'm so disappointed. We had such a better team. Okay. That's how the, that's how it's gonna end, I guess. I don't. It's really difficult to win a freaking Super Bowl. We won it the first two times with the with the Eagles and the Browns, and haven't won one since. But we've gotten close. We got close last year, and we got to the playoffs this year again. But you know, yeah, that's how it's gonna go. I'm not gonna do another season. I'm gonna end this one here. We have a, such a good team, though. What are the stats looking like for this? 99 offense, 95 defense. How do we have a better... I'm pretty sure we have a better defense than offense, but whatever. Yep, that's how it's going to end. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. That's how this, that's how this rebuild's going to end, sadly. I think this team is the best one we've had. I feel like I say that all the time, though. Actually, our Jaguars one is really good, too. Anyway, though, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hopes at least one person commented taco beef. I'd be really happy if someone did. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.